Right, welcome to part two of the Ridge, Ridge Monkey XF standard bivvy. Now, I put my video up last week of the unboxing version of. Um, yeah, it was a struggle, um, but when it's new, it's always gonna be a struggle. But some of the comments I got on YouTube was just, it was ridiculous, comparing it to a Tempest how quickly my Tempest goes up. It's not a Tempest. Yeah, Tempest do go up quickly. And if you wait until the end of this video, you'll see a comparison between the two. What else did I have? Um, won't fit in 95% of UK swims. Now I thought I made it quite clear that I'm only buying this and using it for when I go to France. Go to France quite regular, um, and generally the places I go to, you don't move swim. So, excuse me, I wanna be comfortable. Obviously, I didn't make it clear enough, so I apologise about that. Um, what else was there? Um, it's heavy, yeah, it's heavy. I admitted it was heavy, I said it was heavy. I can assure you these are heavy. But again, all I'm doing, I'm putting it in the van before I go to France, I'm getting out when I get to France, setting it up, putting it away, and then coming home again. I'm not carrying it around. There was a comment about putting it on a barra. I don't think my barra's big enough. Around, it's not something I'm gonna stick on my barra while I'm doing an overnighter. God's sake, you wouldn't want to take that on you for an overnight session, would you really? So anyway, now I know how the bivy goes up, I thought the best thing now to really show how good these things are is to put it up again, now I know what I'm doing. And then hopefully, some of you out there, I don't know, I don't know where, <laughs> some of the comments that was made, it was just it was ridiculous. I had to delete some of them because people started swearing. If you're gonna start swearing on my channel, your, your post would just be deleted. All right, this is just a genuine, out of the bag, honest review. Um, oh yeah, I must have more money than cents. Like I said before, I had an Oz tent. I sold the Oz tent to buy this, so it didn't really cost me anything. It cost me 60 quid, all right, because I'd already had the outlay of the Oz tent years ago. And it's my choice. If you don't want to buy one, don't buy one. If it don't suit your style of fishing, don't get one, but for me, I will be using it. I go to France a lot. I'm in the same swim for a week. I'm not packing up. I'm not moving around. I want to be comfortable. And these things are just that. There was a few comments as well about the, the Oz tents. Um, well, about not being stable in the wind. Now, the Oz tent, okay, I've known that to stand up to some horrendous, horrendous weather. You only have to look on some of the videos um, about Rainbow, for example, on YouTube, where guys are fishing over at Rainbow in these absolutely horrendous storms. And they stand the test of time, okay? So yes, it's square-sided. Yes, it's not gonna be as aerodynamic as a, a Tempest or a Dome Bivy, but they do hold their own. The Oz tents were fantastic in strong weather. Okay, so yeah, they look strange. They're square, they don't look like the conventional bivvies. They're not the dark green like conventional bivvies, but they do the job. And like for me, that's all I'm after. I need a nice size, big bivvy where I'm going into France. I'm fishing in the swim for the same, for, for the whole week, I'm not planning on moving. This to me, it ticks all the boxes. But like I said, this isn't a selling video. It's not me telling you, you should go out and buy one. If you don't want to buy one, don't buy one. It's that simple. Right, so that off my chest, what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to put it up. Now I know what I'm doing after all the polls fiasco on my last video. I know what goes on. I know where the things go. Let's just see how well it really goes up and then maybe you'll have a better opinion.
they go. Hopefully that has just demonstrated how easy these things are to go up. Um, yeah, the first video I did, you know, you saw me I opened the cardboard box. I hadn't seen the product, um, you know, in its in its form in a bag. I've seen it at the shows last year. Um, so you know, it was just an en a genuinely honest open the box review, um, and we got there in the end. Yeah, I had my frustrations putting it up, but now I know how to put it up. Like I said, it flies up in no time at all. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now is. Uh, put the main porch on the extension now that is an optional extra you don't have to go for it um, I, I have I bought the, the like the package um, so what we have to do first is take the the little porch off that's on there and then attach the uh, the main one what I done when I packed it away last time was I removed the sides in the front so that's all separate um, the way you're meant to do it is you basically construct the frame um, sort of on the floor as such um, then we zip on the main hood. Two small, uh, three short bars going to hold the first part of the frame, and then the second part of the frame. Um, you have the longer arms, the longer extendable arms. Now I'm going to do this on my own, so it probably will be a struggle. But if there's two of you, uh, you know, it'll make life a hell of a lot easier. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, it'll only be the second time I've put it up, so uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Cheers.
Well, there we go. That's it all up, porch and all. Um, definitely a lot easier having it with all the sides and everything off. Definitely would be easier doing it with two people rather than just myself. Um, okay, I made a mistake. I was, I was hit the wrong side on there and I had the, the bottom of it up in the air. That was my own fault. And then I had a bit of a faff with the zip in that top corner where the two meet up material was just a little bit too tight. So I don't want to zip the other one, but again, not, not a massive issue. Um, but no, overall it, it went up a lot easier than the, than the first time I did it. Again, like I said, you know, brilliant bit of kit. It ticks my boxes, what I want from a bivvy for when I go abroad. Okay, if it doesn't tick your boxes, get something that you want. All right, I'm not, I'm not forcing anyone to buy it, you know, nor a rich monkey. It's just a, a good idea, a nice, comfortable idea for when you're out in France or wherever you are for a period of time and you ain't moving, it's nice and comfortable. Me personally, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Um, I've just seen a comment on uh, my previous video regarding um, somebody's really disappointed they bought one it hasn't got a ground sheet for the porch it, it does state that it hasn't got a ground sheet you know that is an optional extra okay um so a lot for me i knew it wasn't coming with a ground sheet and as i explained on my first video i don't think i'll be getting one anyway um the only thing i'll be getting is a mozzie door which is on its way now yet again like i say i'm i'm really really impressed now i know how it goes up you saw the main body of the tent went up really really quickly the porch went up quicker um, so again that's an optional extra don't have to get one of those something that I wanted I got the package um, and yeah ticks all the boxes for me now again I'm gonna leave this up now for the next few days um, just to let it breathe again just to make sure it's all right we have got rain due um, I did try it before um, and although the rain came um, nothing nothing leaked on it um, just want to give it another go but yeah as I found out the first time of putting it up packing it down isn't that much of a drama and that and them bags that they come in um, that are scattered around my garden at the moment plenty of room loads and loads of room Even, you know what it's like when you buy something new you buy a tent or a bivvy comes in all nice and neatly wrapped and it fits perfectly You've got loads of bits loads of space in the bag but then trying to put it back away again you haven't got the room well, these bags you've got ample you've got more than enough room um, again something else that um, that really impressed me all right so here's the inside of the porch um, the first time I put it up I had actually put it up wrong um, this cross beam here well in fact it was on the other side over here I had the material was quite soft and saggy um, it's because I had the I put the cross member up here somewhere it's actually designed to go on the corners all right so that keeps that bit of the material tight um and obviously the same on the other side and like i say on the inside you now that frame it's difficult to film putting it up from the inside to be honest but if you have a look on the video that ridge monkey have done you'll see them demonstrating how quickly and easy it is literally this bar here down to this join when it's flat it actually slides down to the bottom there so as you pull it up like the pram hood you just slide this up and into place and it locks in place there same on the other side and once that's up that's you know that's the main frame of the bivvy done again exactly the same as the Oz tent I can't remember who it was that asked me, but somebody did ask if we put a bed chair in there so at least we can see uh, the sort of room you've got. This is a Fox Flatlighter Mark II standard, um, not a wide boy, not a compact, the sort of normal one. So that's it, obviously widthways, and that's it, lengthways. So yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room, definitely, you know, you can stick another one there. I haven't got a second bed chair handy at the moment, it's up in the loft, so I ain't gonna faff around with that. Um, but yeah, so that's where the second bed chair can go. If not, you can sleep in your own and you've got ample room for everything in there. Um, then another question that I had regarding the rear window. 
yeah, when the fly's down, okay, that you can't, um, obviously the fly sheet covers the rear window so it doesn't let any light in. However, you have got toggles on the back of the fly sheet there and there um, to roll it up so it will let that extra light in so during the day um, night time it doesn't really matter does it yeah so it just rolls up like a, a door would right well there you go um, that's it up done a um, few questions answered um, again I hope it helps you out guys it is what it is um, if you want to get one get one if you don't don't no one's forcing you um, but a little bit of fun at the end of this video I had so many people comment about their tempest going up quicker <sighs> but so I've done a comparison all right so I think it's fair the main body of this tent um, or this bivy with the fly sheet because uh, it gives it the second skin um, timed against a Tempest V2 Bivy system of obviously mine uh, with the winter skin so it gives it the second skin as well all right we'll put them against each other and see which one goes up first So really, there weren't much comparison, was it? Was it a minute, maybe a minute more um, for, for this thing? Um, so yeah, so those who tempest go up quicker, all right, it's a minute quicker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It, it, you know, it was a bit frustrating, the first one. Uh, some of the comments, I just think some people just need to have a good look at themselves before they, they hide behind their keyboards. Um, no one's forcing you to buy one if you want to get one get one they're a great bit of kit they are what they are all right um, but yeah in the meantime if you want to um, subscribe to my channel please do you know I do um, I do my fishing blogs um, occasionally um, you know follow my exploits when I'm going abroad or, or when I'm fishing at home um, you know I is what it is I'm your average car bangler enjoying himself while he's doing what he's doing um, and I hope that comes across in my videos. All right, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.